everyone. I'm a program manager within the Azure Container Services um, group within Azure. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple of the different products we have, and then I'm going to do a demo of all of these products working together. So the reason I'm doing this is because there's a lot of things in the industry, and I wanted to basically create a, a blog or a vlog about different things going on in the container space. And I'm learning just like a bunch of you guys are. So these videos are really for people that are just getting started with containers. So all opinions are my own. This is not Microsoft didn't give me a script to say. This is all just me. So let's go through some of the products that we have um, that I'll be demoing today. The first one is AKS, which is our new Azure Container Service offering of managed Kubernetes. We hide your masters from you so you don't worry about your master nodes. You just have to worry about your agent nodes and we'll do um, we'll do upgrades for you. We just like type in a command and we'll upgrade um, your entire cluster. We'll also you can also scale your cluster so you can scale your nodes up and down, which is pretty cool. And you don't pay for the service, which is also an awesome thing. So you don't pay for the service; you only pay for your agents. So it's just as good as just getting a plain vanilla VM on Azure. So why not use AKS? I don't know. <laughs> right, so. The next product that I'm going to talk about is Azure Container Instances. Well, if you know what a container is, then you know what Azure Container Instances are. We basically give you a container and we're like, go crazy. So you throw it um, an image, you give it a public IP, you say you want a public IP, and you get build per second, per core, per gigabyte. You don't have to pay a crazy amount of money for the 30 seconds you want to try something out, or for the 30 seconds you want to like test out an image or your code, which is pretty awesome. So deploying to the cloud has just become a lot easier. So I've just talked about two different products, which are all within our containers brand, but let's put it together for you guys. What you can do with the Azure Container Connector, which is currently an experimental product on GitHub, if you put in the connector in context of your Kubernetes cluster, what you'll end up being able to do is spin out container instances from your cluster. So inherently, what you'll get is almost a serverless compute situation. You'll be able to spin out a bunch of containers from your Kubernetes cluster. You can work at them, work with them the same way you would with pods and everything like that. It's just now they're spinning out to Azure Container Instances. And in another video, I'll go through why that's really cool and what the different configurations you can have in your cluster can be, but today I just want to show how they all work together. So we're going to start this, uh, this demo with just showing you what's going on in my cluster. I'm running a one node cluster in managed Kubernetes within Azure. Um, so once that returns back, there we go, running for about a day. It's, a, it's running the version of Kubernetes 1.7.7. And I have, I should have, no pods running in this context. I do have pods running in a different context. So for that, like for sh setting up this demo, it does take a little bit of configurations. And I'll show you that in another video of how to set it up. But we're just going to deploy the demo. So I'm using Helm. Um, so I've packaged everything up with Helm currently, which is pretty awesome because that means it takes one command to deploy all the parts of my application. So what's just happened is I've deployed a back end, which is a queue of pictures. I've deployed a front end. I've deployed, I've also deployed two in cluster pods. So what these two in cluster pods are gonna do is pick up pictures from that queue. So they can only go like pick up one picture at a time, right? So they have to work together to get through this queue. So basically it's gonna go through all these pictures. It's gonna sort through which ones have pictures of faces and which ones don't. And then it's gonna spit out onto my UI. So the containers are creating right now. If I kubectl get my pods, we should see them running, and then I'm going to show you the UI real quick. Frontend is going to take just a couple seconds to start up and warm up, and while that's happening, I'm going to deploy some other stuff for you guys. So let's do that. So this is the front end. We will eventually to see faces populate, like pictures populate these two folders. But all right, so. As you can see, my front end and my back end are running, my two in-cluster pods are running, and this is gonna go super slowly because I've just deployed two 
two pods to one node and I've also restricted the amount of memory and gigabytes and everything. So now that I've done that, I'm going to deploy something called the ACI connector which I talked to you a little bit about beforehand but let me show you what it looks like. So with you can deploy it with Helm or Kubernetes. I'm using a YAML file. You have to create a service principle in the back end, all this stuff. So I'm going to get my nodes and we're going to see a different node pop up and it's going to be called ACI connector. So anytime you deploy to that node or a schedule to that node or anything, all of those pods are going to deploy as container instances. So they're actually going to turn up in a different resource group and it could be in a different region. So in for this demo, I actually have my cluster in East US and then I'm running my connector in West US. So my cluster is coordinating across regions, which is pretty awesome, I think. And technically, you can have a bunch of these connectors piled up on top of each other and just name them different things and you can have pods working together in regions all over the world. So if one pod goes down, they're just going to stop pulling from my queue in this demo. So let's check up on what's going on here. So my number of pictures process is it's pretty slow still. It's warming up a little. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale up my pods and ACI. So it's going to start helping this cause of making all our my entire cluster just faster in general. And it's going to take seconds for this to start up. This is going to scale up to 10. And what's really happening in this realm is we're getting into this realm of serverless where technically you could have a zero node cluster and just scale out to ACI. I'm going to go back and see that things are going to start to pick up. So we're at 0.4, but things are starting to speed up a lot because ACI has just gone into the mix. So perfect timing here. We're seeing this pick up and we're going to see faces start to pop up in this folder. And these are actually, this is me and my roommate from the summer. Um, when we had just started at Microsoft and then this is my these are my summer adventures so I went to Portugal and Iceland and traveled around and here's me with a mariner's moose but there you go so that's what um, the future looks like you can start deploying super easily this didn't take me 10 minutes to deploy another VM this took me 30 seconds to deploy ACI like 10 ACI instances to start helping me here so think of this in the context of how you'd use this um, for your use cases so Say you need burst compute and you need it now. Um, thanks for watching DevOps with Socks. I'm sure you guys, at least my team members, have seen me wearing this hat like around everywhere. But basically, I bought this in October for breast cancer awareness. And I decided that for every view of this video, I'm going to donate 10 cents to breast cancer. for, And this is going to go until Christmas. Yeah, I've just been, I think it's going to be an awesome way for you guys to learn how to use all these products and learn with me, but also at the same time, it's a win-win for both of us because I'm gonna be donating hopefully a lot more money than I ever expected to <laughs> to breast cancer.